you can use the new repeat radial feature in Illustrator 2021 with type. Works brilliantly with type as well as just standard pass. So I've just got some design here and you can see it's type. That's it, that's all it is. So if I double click on that, on those entries, and you can select any of those and you can modify it. And you can see you can modify the design. So I'm just gonna show right to the start now. I'm just gonna come out of there and go through that. So remove that. Simply go to the type tool and you can use any of these ones. Area type, perfectly reasonable as well. Type on pass, use that. Vertical type, all those ones. Even touch type, you can use that as well. So simply click there and I'm gonna add some type. Simple as that. And then what you can do is you can go to this command, repeat, and down to repeat there. That's in the object menu, repeat and a radial. Now, Default is not so great when you just have it obviously just a straight line, you end up with this, which doesn't look so good. But what you can do, you've got properties over here. And if you haven't can't see that, it's a window and properties. There's window and properties. You can change the number of properties. So you can go for four, so you can see obviously the result a little bit better there. It doesn't have to be radial, you can have create obviously nice square designs like that, or maybe three, you can create a nice triangular design with your type and it's still editable, still live. So you simply, if you want to edit it, simply double click on one of those entries and then you can just resize it or go over here to the fill and change the color. So you can do that. You can rotate it around. You can even change the type. So if you want to, maybe you don't want the word type, maybe you want types or type or tie. Just the same, so you can edit it, still low, but you'll notice you've gone into this radial repeat object. It's an object that you can apply effects to. So all these things, exactly the same as you would have with a circle, rectangle, all those sort of things. So what you can do then, come out of that, and you've got your design there. And you can still modify, you've still got that live radial repeat. I say you can do exactly the same with all these other ones as well. Area type, type on pass, Exactly the same. Now, what you can also do, you can, you've got an option here. You can change the radius. So you can put that down slightly smaller there, or you can go rotate it, you can resize it, so you can make it go out all the way out. Perfectly reasonable as well. You can also go over here to the repeats or use this option here. So there's an option here to add more instances. So you can see, then you've got the word tie repeated now nine times. So you've got nine of those. Also what you can do, other options as well, you can obviously reverse over that, it's not gonna be much use. And also you can change the radius here as well if you want to, to do that. So you can see that's, now personally, I think it's just as easy just to change it over here. But if you wanna fine tune it, it's obviously best just to go over here and say, enter 72 or something, something like that. So again, it's still live. So go over to the, there to the selection tool and you can double click again and just change that. But what you can also do is you can add, so alt or option and you can duplicate that design. You can see, just create multiple copies. Maybe put that further out so you can see the design. You can resize that, maybe change the color. So you've got blue there, maybe go with that one, go with green. And you can see you can create that sort of design. And of course you can resize it, move it around, rotate. And also you can apply effects. So effect, and go for, let's see, uh, blur. Gaussian blur. So you can blur it like that. Click OK. And you've got your design. And again, you're still, you've isolated the design. So you can now come out of that. And once you've done that, you're back to this design. And again, you've got this circle design. And then you can just, rotate it, modify that, and also add a number of other instances there. And you can create all kinds of beautiful sort of designs going outwards from a central point. Now there's also an option here, which I'm just gonna quickly show you, this feature. Now I don't use this very often, I must admit. Something that, but it's useful, say you like on a semicircle. So you can change that, just select that, and then just go around. And unfortunately, there's no guides to this. It doesn't, so you have to sort of make a judgment where it becomes a semicircle. So you've got your semicircle now. All that's been cleared. Only that's available. And it's still 
you can still modify a number of instances here. Now you'll see you've got 17. So it's actually 17, it's clear. So as you move that around, you see that will change the number over here as well. And you can put it back. Now it's actually quite fiddly to put it exactly back there. It is. So you've got it like that. And then you can, of course, put it back down to 10 or something like that. So you can modify this in numerous ways. I'm just going to delete that one now. Don't want that. I'm just going to quickly create, say, a circle. And then I'm just going to quickly go up to, oh, up to the area type tool and click on there. So I can add some type with that type. And of course, you can still go and change the font. Mirrored Pro, Letter Gothic, whatever. What you can then do, of course, I can resize that. Again, you can do exact same. You can go to Object Menu and Repeat and Radio. Of course, you can also do Grid. I'm going to do more tutorials, things with Grid as well, as well as Mirror. So Radial, and you can see exactly the same as before. And you can increase the number of instances. Obviously, it ends up a bit of a mess there, but you can see the design there. Now, again, what you can do, if you want to edit one of those particularly, double click on that. And you can see you're now into that zone and you can resize that. You push that closer and you can also, of course, hold down the ultra option key and you can duplicate and you can add another entry there. And you can resize that, change the color of the text and so on and so on. So you can create all kinds of different designs. And of course, once you've changed all this, done all this, you can come out of that and you've got this design now, which you can then, of course, still continue to modify. So if you decide you want to rotate it, resize it like that, maybe increase the number of instances, you can see you've got that design there. Now, of course, what you can also do, uh, because I've made it very small, uh, let's just, right, got that design, I want to change the bounding box. You can, of course, duplicate this. So you can create multiple copies of this as well. So you can fill the design very quickly with multiple radial designs and they're all independent. So you can still just go and change this, rotate that, and then maybe you turn around and say, well, I don't want that. I'd go for eight for that one. And resize that if you want. Now, obviously it becomes a bit of a mess, but if I'm just gonna quickly zoom in so you can see the design there. Now, what you can also do, of course, one of those individual ones, you can always go to effects and apply effect to the whole thing. So the Gaussian blur will be applied to the whole design. So if I say Gaussian blur there, expanded and click OK, which maybe is not what you particularly want, but it's uh, that's uh, now sadly, this does seem to uh, lose the repeat at that point, but obviously it doesn't extend too far. So I'm just going to undo to bring it back again to that. And that's it. Great way of, uh, of course, there's probably thousands more things you can do with type than what I've shown, but it's just to show you that you can use type in great creative ways with this new repeat radial feature. Hope you found this tutorial about Illustrator of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Finity Photo, Finity Designer, and many, many others. So please subscribe to the Graphic Edge channel. Also, uh, please add some comments. What sort of things would you like me you know, to do? What things have I done wrong? What things have you know? Maybe I could sort of say a little bit better. Please let me know. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.